Hello friends, today we will try to produce diesel, gasoline and gas from plastic bottles, nylons and plastic bags that we have on hand. Let's get right to our video. Firstly, I need a precious cylinder that won't leak air from anywhere. I will use the pressure tank found in water purification devices for this. I'm making a pretty big hole on this tank. I'm going to fill this hole with plastic waste. Since this is a faulty water treatment device's pressure tank, it wasn't draining water. Now I am emptying the water inside through the hole I opened. Now that there's no water left inside, I can maintain the pause. Matches the I can return to my systems. After nicely cleaning the paint, I solder a sleeve on it. The welds I made should be smooth. Because there should be no air leakage from here at all. I got a blind plug that fits the motion I use. I am drilling a hole on the blind plug by cutting the excesses. There will be gas output from this hole I drilled. I am welding an iron pipe to the hole I drilled. I am welding a metal nipple to the end of the pipe. I am going to use two plastic jerry cans. I am drilling two holes in the caps of these jerry cans. By connecting a pipe through the holes I have drilled, I connect two canisters to each other. One pipe extends to the bottom of a canister. Yes, pep, shirt is now it is that it remains on the other canister. I am connecting to the water environment in the same way again to the remaining empty holes. This hose, just like before, one reaches to the bottom of the one reaches to the bottom of the jug, one stays only at the surface of the jug. I am filling all the plastics I found into the pressure tank I prepared. These include plastic bottles, nylon bags, all the cables are there. I've prepared a blind socket and pipe system beforehand. I'm connecting this pressure tank to the end, I'll tighten it well with a pipe wrench. I'm also attaching a plastic pipe to the end of the nipple connected to this pipe. I prepare the tank with a strong fire. I put it into the fire. As the fire burns, the heat melts the plastics inside and they evaporate. It's liquefying in the first and second canister with focus. Finally, it also comes out of the pipe in a gaseous form. The liquid formed in the first bottle is diesel. The liquid oil gasoline, the sachem, the last gas they call LPG, is formed in the second jug. Our Indian friends do this a lot. Anyway, I saw this video from them and I tried the application. When I attached the head of the tube to the gas outlet, when I lit it, I saw its sides beautifully. It won't be long before the first and second canisters. I also saw that the liquid was formed. When I spilled this liquid on the ground and ignited it with a lighter, I saw that it burned very beautifully, guys. Of course, in this case, only the liquid is burning. Now, I'm going to try this in a vehicle at the same time. Let's see if it will also work externally. I'm testing one of these vehicles, guys. A gasoline scooter motorcycle engine. Just so there's no doubt in your mind, I've removed the hose going into the storage. And I finished the petrol in the carburetor by running the engine idle. Now, because there is no petrol, it does not work when you start. I am connecting the gasoline bottle I produced to the gasoline environment. When I press the pedal a few times, the car starts. Uh, um, subtitles, M -A -K Subtitle MT. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Now I'm going to try to roam around a bit. I am the only source of Brother Pamir. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Subtitle MK. I can say it's quite good. Uh, there's no difference from normal gasoline. I don't know if long term use would be problematic, but I had no problems during my use. Hope you like the video. See you in the next video. Bye. Subtitle MK. Subtitles MK. 
subtitles by MK Fox. Subtitle MK. Uh, uh, this gasoline is really bad. It won't stop. Uh,